much as I'm loving this setup, I've um, been sitting thinking about it and I think overall it's just too big. Uh, this is a 30 by 30 uh, by 30 Exoterra and I love the finished look but I just, they're so small, I'm never going to see them. It's going to be a nightmare to feed, to know if they're feeding, to check on them. So I'm going to downsize them and put them into a slightly smaller unit for now. Uh, so I'm going to stop filming, set up the new tank, find the velvet worms and uh, pick it up after that. So see you on the other side. Take as long as I'd anticipated, I managed to find both of them quite quickly. What I'm hoping is if I've chucked this uh, wee mealworm in here, we might actually be able to use film. No, not at all. I was hoping maybe catch one of them shooting glue on the prey, but... I think I'm uh, all out of luck there. It was worth a shot. Yes, Neil. No. Right, gonna go and get their new enclosure set up because, as I say, I just felt that last one was a bit too big uh, for the size of them. Um, rather disappointingly. But. Hey, these things happen. Right, I'll wait to set up the new enclosure. Back soon. Okay, so here is the new setup I've done for them. What I've done is I actually had this tub here and I've split in half and I'm going to keep them in this half here, obviously. Uh, you're probably wondering why I made ice cubes out of the river water earlier and that's because these guys can't have tap water and need to be kept nice and cool. So I've used river water to soak everything so it's nice and cold. The ice cubes, the theory behind that is I can just drop ice cubes into the tank which will be a slow release source of cool water uh, for them and hopefully keep the temperatures down. They can go to minus temperatures. They can grow up to an average, an average size I believe is about two inches. Uh, and what these do when they're hunting is they can actually secrete a glue-like paste uh, from their antennae. Uh, which traps its prey uh, and then they can start to digest but we haven't had any luck with that um, unfortunately but we've only just got them so hopefully plenty of time to to video that kind of behaviour uh, so again I'll get them back into their house let them settle in and sorry about all this shenanigans there we go, off they go again into their houses, or at least one's on its way, the other one's still sitting on the bit of leaf. But here we go, there we go again. Uh, hopefully this should make it a bit easier to keep an eye on them and see what's happening and make sure they're doing okay. So anyway, sorry about all that, but I just, I, I, I just felt this was too big. It's uh, so not quite a nice setup. I'll put, I don't know, one of my scorpions also went back into there. I actually moved one out to free up this tank. Um, but I'll maybe just pluck it back in there again. I don't know. Um, maybe just have to buy something else. Woohoo! Anyway, thanks again. Velvet worms settling in, hopefully, down in there. Right. Jobs are good in. Oh. I'll need to decide what's going in there, but for now, I'll just keep my uh, my other two sand spiders in our little pots down in there. Cheers!